I do for bringing animals home from work to rehome myself. I work for the county animal services and specialize in reptiles and small animals. I've been keeping them since I was eight and have a collection of over 20 reptiles of my personal pets. I worked for a bearded dragon breeder for about two years and a local pet store where I manage the reptile department. I know numerous other reptile keepers who have more knowledge than I do in various ways of getting anything pet related within a fast time as well as in a frequent flyer with my reptile vet for checkups and such. I've been working for the county for about three months and we get in a decent amount of reptiles from people who were evicted or people who found them loose. They sit here for five days for a holding period and then go to another rescue which I can't name here. The rescue doesn't deal with a lot of reptiles and to my knowledge doesn't have anybody who knows reptiles beyond the YouTube video and 30 year old care guide. I've been taking the reptiles home with my supervisor's knowledge as he has to release them to me and hold them myself for a minimum of 45 days. They have adequate space, heat, food, water, and any other care. They don't go straight to the vet as I can do most injuries and illness myself. I then post them to Facebook and Craigslist for new hopefully forever homes. I ask the potential new keepers care questions and ask for pictures of the setup and try to judge if they are ready for the animal. With an influx of posts now I'm being accused of flipping animals and my supervisor is aware of what I do and has seen my setup for animals. People are calling me heartless, flipper etc. I only ask for what anybody else would rehome for regardless of the situation market value technically, some animals I lose money on, some break even, and some I do make a little on depending on their needs. I'm totally okay with losing some money on this as I enjoy it as a hobby. The alternative is they go to an unequipped and uninformed reduce and go to anybody willing to pay their fees.